So finding a posture that supports you, that feels comfortable and alert. And I think myself that there's a kind of teaching in this, in that all kinds of little things that we did not have to pay attention to a month ago, now we have to pay attention to. And we can draw upon the little things to support us. So being a little more careful with our body, a little less, you know, a little more cautious about making sure we don't cut our finger when we're using a knife, or finding a posture now as we sit that is particularly supportive, right? Sitting up straight, there's a Zen saying, to be soft in the front and firm in the back. I think that's a nice way to approach life in general. Uh, you know, with sort of your body stacking. I've heard people talk about feeling like there's a line reaching down through you to the center of the earth and up to the heavens, extending up into the universe. With your eyes open or closed, whatever is comfortable for you. And letting yourself just kind of plop and be here. I heard Mingyur Rinpoche, the great Tibetan teacher, describe meditation as like coming home from a long trip and you drop your bags, you drop your worries, you drop your concerns, and you just plop in your favorite chair, maybe while your cat crawls into your lap. Just let go and simply be as easy as this, simply being. I'm going to guide a practice here that's useful in general. I think it's especially useful for a time that's disturbing in many ways for many people. And I'm going to focus especially on the sense of things settling and calming uh, as we rest increasingly in simply being and being aware in the present. So to begin with the body, and as with any suggestion I offer, feel free to change it. Being aware of your body, or if you prefer a word or an image or a feeling as an anchor of attention. Otherwise, letting attention settle into sensations, including internal sensations of breathing. Can you be aware of one breath from beginning to end, inhaling and exhaling? Can you be aware of a breath including the sensations of breathing around the area of the heart. Can you be aware of breathing on the left side of your torso, the sensations of breathing there?
Can you be aware of sensations on the right side of your torso related to breathing? And then can you be aware of sensations of breathing on the left and the right together? And as you be aware of things as a whole, such as left and right as a whole, you can let your experience increasingly be spacious. A sense of things as a whole in which there's an easing or relaxing of any kind of struggle with any part, an easing of any drivenness or grasping for any part as you increasingly feel whole. So I'll be quiet for some moments as, if you like, you gradually have a sense of your body as a whole left and right together, front and back together, top and bottom together, increasingly abiding as a whole body breathing. So I'll be quiet here for some moments as you gradually stabilize as best you can, the sense of being a whole body breathing in the present. As you abide as a whole body breathing, thoughts may come and feelings and sounds. That's all okay. Just disengaging from them and allowing attention to become more and more established in the sense of being a whole body being, being and breathing, being and letting go whole body breathing.
intending to establish a growing stability of presence. Steadily present. Letting go of pushing anything away, any feelings or sensations. Being a space in which things happen with no need to push anything away. Also, no need to reach for anything. Nothing missing, nothing we need to grasp. So that we can rest in simply being. And in this feeling of being can be the direct knowing of what is true that you are being. In other words, you are being basically all right now and now. And it's helpful and okay to let in a sense of reassurance, calming. You're basically all right, right now in the present. As you be. And with this feeling of being, being all right, you can gently let go of any anxiety, worries, fears, not struggling with them, or just kind of shedding them, or letting them flow out of you. As you take refuge in the present, in being present. Increasingly in the present, if you can, without any fear whatsoever, with a sense of calm, peacefulness, ease in the present.
It's okay if you want to, while breathing and being aware of your body, from time to time, to call in, in a gentle way, feelings of calm or peacefulness, confidence, recognizing your own capabilities, and knowing that every day you'll do the best you can. It's okay to call that in, to feel it, not craving it, or just inviting it and welcoming that. And then letting that sense of calm and even confidence in your own resilience and capability to come into you while also letting go of any unnecessary bracing or guarding or fearfulness in the present. So in effect, you're, if you like, taking as your object of meditation a kind of combined feeling of being a body breathing, a sense of peaceful, confident capability with a releasing, maybe as you exhale, tension, worry, alarm, letting it go. As you settle more and more deeply into a feeling of being the body breathing, perhaps along with a releasing of aspects of fearfulness and a receiving of the sense of calm capability, in whatever way you like. You might like to get a sense of your own awareness widening and becoming more and more inclusive. The edges of your mind softening. Sense of boundlessness or spaciousness. A sense of presence in the body.
without pushing anything away or trying to grasp after anything. Feeling peaceful and all right. But the mind being, being increasingly open and expansive like the sky. Being the whole consciousness you are, 
vast like the sky. open and undisturbed, being the whole consciousness you are, vast like the sky.
in the last few minutes here, if you like, you can get a sense of receiving into yourself whatever is wholesome and beneficial that has been cultivated here. For example, receiving a calming, receiving a strengthening and grounding, perhaps receiving a sense of being a whole, undefended and open and undisturbed and vast like the sky. And in these ways of being, these knowings, these feelings, sink into you, take in the good of them so they become established in you. As you give yourself over to these ways of being that you've cultivated so that increasingly that's who you are becoming. Softening in the body, Absorbing into yourself whatever is beneficial here. 